I think all those people, all of y'all out there <laughs> that have good Goodwills, I think you're staging it <laughs> and you're pretending you're at a Goodwill. Maybe that's hot take. <laughs>
You guys, we are completely striking out here. Look at all this. I mean, all this stuff is just sitting outside. It's filled with water. It's gross. It's broken. I mean, I can't believe they actually do this kind of thing. I guess this sits out all the time. It's full of water. <laughs> anything yet? Not yet. <laughs> Y'all, look at that huge billboard. They have that facing out to the road and um, but it just looks huge from the back. That's hilarious. Did you buy something? No. No, I just got you something to look at. Oh, where'd you get it from? From way back where we were. I mean, you stole it? <laughs> no, I just... <laughs> Walking around <laughs> with it. <laughs> not, not you. Not the person <laughs> The Bates Motel pint glasses. I think so. It's a table made out of a saw blade. What do you think about that? is all this stuff has gotten wet. Cute. Full of water. So this one's faded, but these I think are those pencil boxes that you can find on eBay that are selling like in the $20 range from the 90s. I have no idea that right? pencil boxes were selling like that. I know, right? This one, like I said, is, we can't take that one because it's faded, but I've been looking for some. <laughs> Space Maker, is that the brand? I think so. Hmm. I'm gonna look it up and see exactly which kinds are bringing that much money. But I know they're, they're bumpy like that. Hmm. So, Mary Beth, what did you get for me? I didn't find anything. <laughs> it's a good try, everybody. I was just telling them that I feel like that's a personal failure, though, of mine, that I could not walk away with one thing. Right? One thing. I know. It was all full of water, it's though. Right. And broken. Yeah. Lots of just broken stuff. It's kind of ruined. Okay, well, we're on with our Sorry. regular mission. This was just a side stop. <laughs> Okay, so this is interesting. This is our first real stop at West Park Mall. It's a consignment store. Well, a consignment sale. And they have uh, set up in an old storefront to have plenty of room. But this is the last day. So we're not that optimistic, but we don't want to miss out on anything. So we are going to check it out. So we were following our directions from estatesale.net and it told us in this mall across from the Barnes and Noble and we thought that would be outside, but look, we've gone inside and it is actually inside the mall across from the Barnes and Noble. Isn't that crazy? Yes. So even though it's the last day, but that means it's 50% off. So maybe we can find something. We got, we got milk glass right off the bat. Cute for four dollars. Yes, that, I think they have the little tiny. There's little tiny price tags. 
So see, like that one's 15, so that would be 750, but that's cute. We might need those too. Ooh, this one has a butterfly. It's 30 though. See, I told you guys, milk glass is coming back. Look at those prices. They're already, you know, climbing up there. This is, all, I think these little vases like this were in my last video with the colored milk glass. Right, it's that same pastel kind of feel. Maybe both kind of passed right by them. I don't know. I'm going to think about it for a second. I like your glass. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Wow, that's beautiful and heavy. Goodness. So the canisters are pretty. $30 for the set. They're new, but they're pretty. I'll go look at those. What if, oh, you got some piggies. You this little mix pick up some. one. That's cute. Okay, I'm gonna go look at the magazines then. It's a cool little coffee jar, but it's $30. It'd be $15. Okay, maybe that says there's magazines over here, so I better check those out. Oh, this is all sewing stuff. Clown alert. <laughs> It'd be so cute. He's half off. I'll get him probably for eBay. There's this little Florida orange guy, but he's a bell. Bells just aren't all that popular. So the elephant canvases are neat. I might get those for Wayman's. Two for 20, so they'd be two for 10. Not take a chance on some of these, I don't know. I don't know if they'll come I just think they look kind of cool. I think they're neat, you wanna show them? Sure. Can we hold that? Yes. Okay, Mary Beth's found this pretty little crackle vase. Or pitcher. So I don't know about some of this. Um, I found a bear's uh, rain jacket. That's and then, nice. And then I found a Sosa jersey. Um, and this is a really cool jacket. It's, it's a White Sox Hall of Fame jacket. I don't know. I feel like that's kind of cool. That's really neat. I, I saw it from a distance and thought it was really cool. And then I found a sweater, a Chicago Bears sweater. Ooh, I like that. I'm not even a, a fan, but I, 
I still like it. I like the way that looks. Very cool. That These old better homes. There's also life over there. Big tubs of them. I mean, even at half off, they are kind of expensive, but they're kind of cool too. These, in fact, are all, I think, December. They've set up linens and things in the dressing rooms here. The quilts are pretty, but they're marked 75, 125. So we'll pass on those. But this, remember the use from like the 80s and 90s? It's marked 10, but today it'd be five. My mom likes to use these in her vehicle for like furniture pads and stuff. So, and she likes rabbits. So I think I'm gonna get her that one. How much is this? 25. It's a pastel afghan. That's a pretty one. They just don't sell very well though. The baby things don't. Okay, friends, we are going to wrap it up right here. Um, we will do a uh, part two next week. So come back to our channel to see the rest of what we find in Cape Girardeau. And until then, stay tuned to see what Fat Bird finds next. We'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.